All right, Bravo Strikes here, and it's the final one. My favorite weapons of Dragonflight. Uh, some of these videos have gotten a lot of views for me, so I'm thankful for all of y'all that have watched this. I am hopefully very soon gonna put it on its own playlist, and hopefully I can come up with a new interesting Transmog series. You know, I've got some ideas from my last video. If you got any ideas, send them my way. And if I use them or create some with them, I'll credit you in when I make the series. But I'm just trying to do something. <clears throat> I have a few ideas cooking. Because all my characters have, like, somewhat of a character to them. So I gotta do a, a series on that. But let's get into it. Favorite weapons of Dragonflight. So, honestly, I'm still farming some of these. So, I did pool from what I got. And next season, if we get a faded season, it's going to be a real good time to farm all the different mogs week to week. You know? Get some transmog. Because that's what it's about. The game isn't about... And plus... Raiding... PvP. It's about transmog and customization. Do some of those things get transmog and customizations? Yes. And that is why we do them. To look good. Alright. So, I like this shield. This is from Abarus. It's I think this is the LFR one. Because that's the, the level I was doing. And then, this is also an Abarus... Is this the questing X? This may be the questing X. Yeah, this may just be a questing drop. I think it looks great. I think it looks great. You know, Dragonflight Transmog has been three stages. But the tier, the, the class tier sets have been unique. They are kind of themed. But they also, the later ones feel unique. Like Abarus and Emerald Dream feel very unique. Uh, and the, the weapons have represented each tier, but they've given us uh, interesting new weapons in, in Transmog. Then I may talk in a video about it in a video once, because they do got a lot of um, interesting looking Transmog. So let's move on. I've been sitting on this warrior too long. So, great sword right here on my rogue. Again, Abris stuff. Alright, this is Abris the Raid. This is the questing sword. I believe because I got quite a few of these and then my demon hunter is rocking the LFR uh, war glaive I believe I believe I got the LFR one uh, Rionthus it looks sick it's got the freaking dragon face and then the wings and this isn't a trans like I don't have a um, an illusion on it so it naturally has this effect I try not to have illusions on so you can see what it looks like. All right. And then for, on my DK, I got, you know, new Ash Candy, you know, Ash Candy. You know, it looks sweet, dude. The newer, the newest model looks so good. I don't have the legendary ax, by the way. That would be on this if I had it. That's what, this is where I would put it if I had my legendary, right here. But instead she's got that. Uh, I believe this is... Is this normal? I think this is the normal version. Maybe the heroic version, but I got the... Maybe this is the PvP one. All I know is this this seasons, this tiers, freaking two-handed flame sword looks sweet. Alright, great sword. Alright, 10 out of 10. Flaming sword right there. Um, my druid over here, rock, rocking quest reward. Staff. Or just a rare, random drop. This is from the Emerald Dream. And it said it's from the Emerald Dream. And I really like this pole arm. It's a pole arm, not a staff. And I just like the theme. It's runic. You know, it, you can do a lot with dru druids using this. Uh, maybe even some like Drust Druids, you know, it's a, it's a good Druidy uh, pole arm. And for Hunter here, I'm also walk, rocking an Emerald Dream thing. Um, <clears throat> yeah, this is from the Dream. That's all the drops he's got and his armor. 
It's also from the dream. He's just chilling in the dream, you know? It's a good hunter theme. You got the nature -y theme. Um, that's the duality of this season. You have nature and fire themes blended in. The questing nature, the fire. Then last year, it was all these, like, dragon tech, dragon armor, dragony this, dragony that, Neltharian this. Then the first tier was a lot more elemental, you know. And then we had good questing sets like all throughout. Um, and then here, here's just a new cool transmog you can just find in the dream. There's a bunch of these staves that you can pick up. And this is one of them. You know, Time Rift's had a lot of unique transmog. Uh, the Archives rep has some unique one. There's a rope offhand that I, I really should have got before this. But yeah, Time Rift, this is Time Rift staff. We got a whole Timey Wimey patch which gave us a lot of Bronze Dragon looks. And I really like the staff from that from that set. I was using it on my Evoker too. I had the infinite outfit with the infinite staff. It looked it looked good. Alright, I don't have him dressed up though. And then look at this, Nature Paladin. Look at this. This is a nature paladin right here. I, I love this weapon. I love this shield. It's simple. And I've been using it a lot. And I just was like, you know what? I want to put it on this video. Because it, it is a good looking shield and hammer set. I like here. And then here. My monk's got some good stuff. This is the... Oh my god. I think this is the... I don't know what version this is. This could be LFR, it could be Heroic, or it could be Normal. Alright? But I believe this is LFR. But it's the Burning Chicken set. No, this may be the Heroic one because I got it on someone else. E either way, this, these fist weapons, this tier, are freaking cool looking. I got these freaking Chicken claws, almost. Ready to bust up. My monk is just gonna scratch the shit out of you. Just, he looks so cool. I really like these. this fist weapon. This is the fancy one from the, the trio. My demon hunter's got it on. All right, now this Aberus tier weapons. This offhand, I loved on my evoker. I was using it. This dagger, good. I didn't use it. I think I was using something else. But yeah, this dagger is freaking sweet. This book, freaking sweet. I really like the books we've got in this tier to hold in your offhand. Not this tier, um, this expansion. And yeah, that was just a good Neltharian uh, looking dagger. And then like I said, tier one gave us the elements, and they had some good ele uh, elemental weapons. I didn't use a lot up here, like at all. I was more of a fan of Aberus stuff and Emerald Dream stuff, but we did get a lot of good elemental gear, but I'm missing a lot. So when we come back around with the Faded Season, I have all of my classes ready to go. I can get some more Transmog, so maybe I'll be rocking... More of this in a future video. But, um, yeah, this is my last pick. It's a good elemental staff from, uh, Vault of the Incarnates. He's also rocking that set. And overall, I've really liked the Dragonflight weapons. I liked a lot of the transmog we got this expansion. And I'm looking forward to what they got in store because. The Blizzard art team kills it. All the time. You know, that's why I love showing off Transmog. You know, th this is the game. This is the real gameplay. You know, this is the gameplay that lasts. And there are a lot of things I desire from Transmog. For Blizzard to do. But I think the main thing, if I had to ask for one thing for Blizzard to do right now, off the top of my head... They need to make it so the hats, here, here, this. Why does it remove her hair? Why can't her hair be like right here in the thing? 
and maybe fall down if she has got long hair in the front. You know? This doesn't conflict with my hair. Yeah, oh, yeah, I didn't have the thing on here. See, that lets her hair down. But we got some of these other head pieces where no hair. Well, she wouldn't have hair. But that's the thing, you know? We need these witch hats to let us have our hair. That's one of my wishes. All right, I just wanted to add that in there. This is the finale. Dragonflight weapons. Bada boom. That's what I like. You know, everyone likes what they like. So, there you go. Have a good day, and I'll be back with more transmog stuff next Monday. You know, who knows what it will be. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.